Choosing the right laptop is entirely a function of what you plan to use it for, and of course, your personal preference and operating system. We have our choice for the best laptop out there, plus other top picks like the best MacBook, Chromebook, Big Laptop, and Bargain Laptop. So let the fun begin. Dell's XPS 13 is a premium laptop both outside and in. While most laptops have at least a half inch bezel surrounding the display on all sides, the XPS 13 has a stunning super thin infinity edge bezel that's less than a quarter of an inch thick. Combine that with carbon fiber and metal construction and you have the best looking laptop available. 7th gen KB Lake Core i3, i5, and i7 processors are available in the XPS 13, along with a selection of SSDs and up to 16 gigs of RAM. The system even squeezes in a large battery, which means most models can last a full day before needing a charge. But the XPS 13 doesn't earn the best laptop title because of its premium configuration. The entry-level laptop starts at just $800 and can be handsomely equipped for $1,000. Nothing else offers the same overall value, and many competitors feel hopelessly out of date when placed next to Dell's flagship. Most people look for a Mac for one of two reasons. You're either a fan of Mac OS or you're a fan of the Apple brand. If you're in the first group, we recommend you purchase the MacBook Pro 13 without the touch bar. That's because the touch bar just doesn't add enough functionality, certainly not enough to justify an extra $300 to an already high price tag. Now, if you're looking at a Mac based on reputation, we strongly suggest you reconsider. Producing cutting edge computers isn't Apple's business anymore, and all of the Mac models come with processors that are one or two generations old. Sure, Mac OS is a fine operating system, but we think Windows 10 is even better. Finally, and most importantly, Apple's laptops are just too expensive for the hardware they offer. Sure, Apple has excellent customer service and repair options, but if you're looking for value in a laptop, the Mac doesn't offer it. Chromebooks are popular budget laptops, and we think they're certainly worth considering for people who don't need a lot of processing power. Acer's Chromebook 15 makes our list despite the typical Chromebook shortcomings. That's because it delivers all around solid performance at a fraction of the cost. The base model starts at just $250, and an extra $100 gets you faster processing, more RAM, and a 1080p display. With average use, it'll deliver a decent six hours of battery life. You also get a respectable touchpad and spacious keyboard, just don't let the Chromebook's all-white plastic chassis or overall lack of connectivity deter you. Two-in-one laptops are still something of an acquired taste, but if you're not sure about laptops as tablets, the HP Spectre X360 might change your mind. First and foremost, it's a stylish, lightweight, and powerful laptop. That said, the HP Spectre X360 is not a great tablet, but two-in-ones rarely are. As a laptop, the form factor is particularly impressive when you consider the kind of power it packs. There are three configurations ranging from $1,000 to $1,500, but each one has a 7th gen KB Lake processor under the hood. The unit we reviewed is available for $1,300 and has a Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 512 gigabyte SSD. That extra performance really shows. Not only did it perform spectacularly well in our benchmarks, it turned out excellent performance as an everyday workhorse. It's quick, snappy, and versatile, everything you could want out of an ultra-portable laptop. If you're looking for a more affordable option, we suggest the ASUS ZenBook UX305CA, another Ultrabook we've awarded an editor's choice. The ZenBook isn't as powerful as the Dell XPS 13 and doesn't emulate the Dell's strikingly thin bezels, but otherwise it's an incredible machine, and its value can't be beat. The base model, which is routinely priced at $600 on the Microsoft Store, has a Core M3 processor, 8GB of RAM, and a 256GB solid-state drive. That's twice the memory and storage of the $800 Dell XPS 13, and far better than what you'll find in other competitors. If you're looking for something with a larger display, Dell also has the XPS 15. It's great for all the same reasons the XPS 13 is great, and because it's larger, can be optioned with the fastest hardware available today, including a quad-core processor, NVIDIA mobile graphics, and a 4K display. We don't like it quite as much as its little brother because it's quite expensive, and the battery doesn't hold up as well relative to the competition, but it's definitely the best 15-inch laptop available right now.